it's loud out front, so I figured I would try to make the video um, back here. You know, it, it's been a while. Look, I got my hair cut, which is good. I'm all looking all tired, hot mess, because I went back to work. <sighs> Haven't recovered from that yet. But, I need to apologize for not making a video. It's been a little crazy with going back to work, and then getting the kids all done with school. It's been like, Aah! And I haven't gotten a lot done, and but I wanted to make a video because I did get a package of Happy Mail today, so I wanted to open that uh, with you guys. And I made something for a friend that I—it's all wrapped up to send, and I had to like unpack it because I wanted to show it to you guys. So, how's everybody doing? How's everybody holding up? Oof! Let me tell you. Okay, where to start? Oh, first I will have an incoming. It's not a BJD, um, but it is a jointed doll. Remember that video I was talking about how there's, I don't have that one doll. Like, I don't have, I love my BJDs, and I have, like, ride or dies, and I have ride or die Barbies, but I don't have that one doll that is just, like, the epitome of, like, I, I, I like, I really just, a stand out on your own, you get a whole case of clothes, and you're just you, without a story, without anything, without all the, and I think I found one. And I'm hoping I like her. And I don't think there's a lot of um, reviews on them on YouTube. I can't even find a whole lot of pictures of them. So when she comes, um, might be a week and a half. I don't know. You know, I've been getting outfit on eBay like left and right, and I'm surprised I didn't get outfit on this one. Really surprised because that's been kind of like the theme. Um, it, but of course, you know, it's one of those. The seller is away, so I'm like. All right, so anyways, when she comes, I don't want to tell you what she is, but she is jointed, she's small, and she kind of fits my thing, and I hopefully, hopefully she'll be able to wear Blythe clothes. Okay, let's get to the projects. So, I just wanted to show you guys just the little art doll here that I'm working on half-heartedly, um, just so you can see how they start. So he's got clay for hands and, and feet and bottom legs, and then, you know, yarn wrapped wire, so he's all bendy. And then felting, and then I did this like helmet, whatever. So I don't know if I'll ever finish him, but because what happened when I was working on him, I was like, oh, the dodo. Forever ago, a certain fabulous person we all love says, oh, don't you do a dodo bird? And I was like, yeah, I should do a dodo bird. And it totally like in and then gone. And so for my last quarantine project, I said, I'm going to do the dodo bird and I'm going to send it to the house von Groovy where he belongs. So. Here he is. I just want to show you to him to you. He's so stinking cute. I think he came out pretty good. His helmet, he, his clothes actually do come off. Um, he's got Ken sneakers on and Ken shorts, and I actually made his vest. And he's got like a Ken shirt that I kind of cut up for uh, his collar. This is like a hint of the doll that's coming. If you, no one's gonna guess, uh -huh. except for maybe Summer. Um, so he's got a clay head. His helmet and his uh, monocle did come off. So he is going to be... Here's his bubble wrap. Look, he's going. And then he's felted and, he, and he's posable. It's nice to make something for somebody. And then... Oh, you know, I can do a quick little tutorial here, too. I got a... Tuesday Taylor. Who was a wreck. Like, a wreck! She was so bad. Her body was awful. Her hair was awful. She was missing eyelashes. And her face was all, like, discolored. So I <laughs> I said, oh, but I love that head. So, you know, she was like $1.50 or something. I don't know. I think. It, so I, I made her a little wig and gave her a little repaint and gave her some new lashes. Oh, and put her on the Made to Move Barbie, uh, Barbie body, which I really like on her. Except her head is not really a good fit, but I crammed it on there, so... Worked on her. Um, should we open the package or should we do the little yarny thing? Let's open the package. I don't want you to see. It came from, it's from Nerdy Doll Girl. Oh, you did not need to send me anything. And I'm afraid I don't, I'm gonna, I have, I actually was prepared with scissors this time, guys. It says what it is on the outside. I just, all the way from the Canada lands, which actually is not that far away from me here. And work's been kicking my butt. My legs are hurting, my back is hurting. It says what it is on the outside. 
but I don't know. Just, I'm not going to tell you. Okay, let's just reach in. Oh, they're wigs. Outside it says doll wigs. Oh my god. Look at that pink. Oh, somebody's going to wear that. I have, have that Choma head coming, and he's going to be. He's going to need a wig. I love this color. Look how awesome that is. Oh, I like that one. I like it a lot. Ooh. This is this is a mohair wig. This is really, really pretty. Oh, jo I should have brought George out. George will like this. That's his color. Oh, my God. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Did you make these? They're so well done. I'm like peeking inside to see like how they're stitched. That's slick. 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 There's, there's a note. Should I read the note? It's cute little owls. I'm not gonna read it out. Oh. No girl, you rock. You rock. I'll definitely, definitely be able to have some fun with these. Ooh. That's a pretty color. I don't know if it's going to pick it up. It's it's lavender, but it has this like pink tinge to it. This is gorgeous. Mm. Elliot, do you want a purple wig? You mark the sizes in them. What kind? Mm. That would fit Elliot. I'm just kind of tired of her wig. Girl, I am going to definitely use all these. They're like such gorgeous colors. Oh my god. Look at that minty green. Fiber's been my thing lately. These are amazing. Thank you. Thank you, sweetie. Oh my god. Is there more? It doesn't stop. Ooh. Ooh, look at that one. Wow. Yeah, fiber's been my thing lately. <laughs> because with the kids, you know, and not being able to do... This one a lot. I love them all. I, I do have a thing for mohair wigs. Oh, and they're all seven eight, so I think the MSDs will wear them. Elliot. Oh no, Knox. Maybe Knox would like this wig. Well, the guy who's coming in, the Choma head, he's gonna need a wig, and these will definitely all fit him. Thank you, honey. These are amazing. Amazing. I can definitely use these for, for stuff. Oh. I think I want to keep them as wigs and not use them for other projects. Other projects. So, because it's been so, like, crazy with the kids and going back to work and then trying to get, you know, the house in order and all that nonsense, um, I haven't felt like doing any big projects. Or, you know, I've been thinking about big projects. I just haven't been doing the big projects. So, um, I was like, well, maybe I'll, like, knit or crochet or do something like that. Now, lesson. That is just such a joke because for some reason I cannot get the crochet hook. Is it in here? No. Or a knitting needle to become here it is. Look, this is a, this is as far as we got. This is Joshi's uh, hat tutorial. But I cannot get this tool to become an extension of my hand. I cannot do it. It's this is about as good as it gets. Like I can do regular acrylic yarn. The problem is. I like the crazy stuff. Like, I like the crazy yarn that you can do nothing with. Yeah, I mean, this, sure. Until I figure something out. A very, very interesting thing called finger knitting. Oh, my God. Finger knitting. I will show you how to do it. It's super easy. And you can get doll scarves in about three minutes. Here. Have a scarf, buddy. Look. He's got a scarf. Three minutes, and this is, you know, this is the like, the eyelash yarn that you can't do. I, I can't do a damn thing with that stuff, but this, perfect. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do it, and let's do it with, let's do it with this. Because this, you know, you can't knit or crochet. You use this as trim, right? Okay, this is finger knitting. It doesn't take a lot to do a scarf. All you need is your hand and yarn, and maybe a pair of scissors for the end. All right. You hold the yarn here, right? The end of yarn. Most important, you have to remember your ring finger. That's the most important part of this. You go over, over your middle finger, under, 
over and back around and you do it twice. You guys will see what I mean. So you just kind of wrap it up. So you have two on each finger, right? Then you take this like you're knitting, just like you're knitting, and you go over. So you take the bottom one and go over each one and just like loosen it out like, you're, like a knitting needle. Then you take the yarn, still attached here, you're still attached up here. It's a terrible tutorial, but you can you can YouTube it. <laughs> you can search it. All right? And you wrap them again. You do the same exact thing. So you want to make sure you always go underneath your ring finger. So you want to start here and go over, over, under, and back. And then just pull them off. Now, there's way a lot of tutorials about making, you know, something longer and like connecting them and making hats. I'm not into that. I don't need to make human tie stuff. I need to make quick doll stuff that's just fun. So you keep going and it starts growing on the back of your hand, right? Oh, the kids are screaming. What's going on in there? That doesn't sound too good. So you always want to end up with two loops on each finger and you just keep going down. I don't know. How long? How many minutes am I at? I'm only at one minute. Okay. You could do really, really bulky yarn and it's even faster. But it's just like whoosh. Whoosh. Yeah, man. Kids kids in the homeschool and let me tell you. Whew. Wow. Okay. So you have this long thing coming off the back of your hand like some sort of craziness. If you just pull this, pull the end, look, look what's happening. What? What is happening? It's automatically making a scarf. It's crazy. You could, I could do this in my sleep. I could do this in a meeting. I could make scarves in a meeting. And you can do it with anything because I actually, the, um, I love those like sailor, you know, sailor knot bracelets. That's what this one is. That's it. So if you, you, you know, if you're using yarn that you can actually tell what it, that it's yarn, you know, or string or something, and it doesn't look like, oh, I got a knot. So we're going to stop there because I have a knot. So, typical. When you get it as long as you want it, this is the tricky part. You take this one, just like. Uh, casting off is that what it's called I don't know and you put it over this finger right so then you have two here let it off take the, the take it put it over your ring finger pull it off take this put it on your pinky pull it off my trusty scissors here cut my where my knot is all right so you have the two ends you have a loop end that was on your pinky and you have your working end you pull that through. Dude, hello, look at that. If that was like longer, total scarf for a doll. And like, you know, you only had to make this like three times as long. Hello, totally cool. So you can end up with scarves like this. And that is all I have for this week. So hopefully I will be able to come back with a box opening for that doll, the mystery doll. And that's it. Um, it's been gorgeous out back at work uh, hope you guys are all staying safe staying sane staying busy making fabulous stuff being wonderful to each other i'll talk to you soon bye Mwah. love you